Uh, we are going to consider another example. This example is the same as the previous example with the uh, only exception that um, the initial temperature is 100 sine 3 pi x over 80. Uh, before we had 1 pi x. In this case we have um, the general solution as as in the previous case on this form b1 sine pi x over 80 multiplied with the exponential function of minus lambda 1 square t plus and so on uh, b2 b3 uh, b4 in this case b1 uh, is equal to 0 and in order to see this, uh, just do as follows. We know that the, um, the initial temperature is um, on the same form as the third therm, term of the Fourier series. So we see that the, uh, first, the, the first term's term looks like this, the second term looks like this, uh, and the third term looks like this. And the third term is very equal to the is at least on the same form as the initial temperature so um, we just write out the initial temperature as what it is 100 sine 3 px over 80 and add zero terms in order to see that b1 b2 b4 b5 five and so on are equal to zero but the third uh, coefficient b3 is not uh, zero it's equal to 100. So in this case we also get a very simple expression for the general solution uh, it's equal to ux of t 100 sine 3 pi x divided to 80 multiplied with uh, the exponential function of minus lambda 3 square t and lambda 3 uh, it's as above it's very simple to calculate this we we knew that lambda n uh, is equal to lambda n square is equal to 0 0.001785 n square uh, therefore lambda 3 square is equal to uh, this guy multiplied with 3 square and it's equal to 0 0.01607 so in this case uh, we find um, that uh, t is equal to uh, in order to find the largest temperature we do exactly as above we find that t is uh, the logarithm of um, one off divided to minus lambda 3 square and know that we know lambda t square we can find this uh, temperature t this uh, uh, time t and it's um, in this case equal to 43 seconds so it's about nine times faster than um, in the previous example